So I'm going to start off with, of course, a paint pot from MAC and this is soft ochre. I know in all of my past videos I've said soft okra because my brain, every time I see that, it just thinks of okra. So I'm gonna keep calling it soft okra, okay? It's gonna be a joke. Um, but it looks like this. It has a um, yellow undertone. I've said that many times. So I'm just gonna apply that on my lid. And I'm also gonna apply it a little um, on my lower lash line and basically this is just gonna work as a base for our eyeshadow. We wanna have a smooth and even canvas. Um, I personally have a lot of discoloration as you guys can see. So this allows me to just even out that area. And of course it's gonna help our shadow last a lot longer. So, and then I'll apply just a little right underneath. Because we are going to put some product there. I like love these because you can literally use your hand. Well, it's best applied with your finger. So, we're going to be using the colors Winnie. This is the Winnie Super Shock Shadow and Porter. And they both look like this. And Kathleen Lights, thank you girl for creating these because these are from her collab that she did with ColourPop. But they look like this, so we're going to apply this on the lid, and then we're going to use this as a crease. And this is also going to work as our blending, our um, transitioning color. So, that's why I loved it, because once you apply it, it gives off oh, such beautiful, like a second color. So, we're just going to take a, um, I don't even know why I'm reaching, I'm so used to reaching for brushes. But no, we're going to reach for our finger. And we're gonna apply this. We can either dab it or kind of swipe it. Like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna use it as our transition color. So I'm gonna take it a little above. But once I kind of pack it down, I'm gonna go back in and um, to the shadow. And just layer it on some more so that it's nice and bright. Now that we have that, I'm gonna take a blending brush. So one I'm using is from Sigma. It's a blending E25. This is a travel size one, um, and I'm just gonna blend that out in the crease. And if you want, you can also just go back in uh, to actual shadow, grab a little bit of product and then blend it out. You want it to be soft, uh, so you don't want to grab too much product. Okay, so now we're going to grab Porter and for this I am going to use an angle brush. Looks like this and this is from Sedona Lace, it's a 407. I'm just going to dip it in like so and apply that on my outer corner only. I'm not going to bring it in too much. And then once I have it packed down on my outer corner, I'm going to br um, bring in just a little bit and kind of, you know, just blend that out with uh, Weedy. what I like to do instead of using um, the brush like this I kind of like to flip it around and then use it to blend uh, my crease out some and once I have that packed we're gonna go back in with that um, blending brush that we use the one from Sigma yeah from Sigma and then I'm just gonna blend that out So when that's, once that's nice and blended, I'm going to go in with uh, 
Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palettes, and I'm going to use Divinity, and it's this um, soft matte kind of uh, milky color, and I'm just going to apply that on my brow bone. that is done then I'm gonna take a q-tip and I just want to sharpen up the edges so I'm gonna take a q-tip and makeup removing wipes and just kind of clean um, the edge off makeup removing wipes and then just kind of clean the corner Then I'm going to apply the Cover FX Anti-Aging Primer all over my face and again this is um, could be a base for our foundation. We always want to have our face moisturized and have a base. And this is just going to make our foundation look so much better than if we were just to put it straight on our face. After letting that sit for a little bit, I'm going to use L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It's a 24 hour foundation, looks like this. And in case you're wondering, I am in the color 108 Caramel Beige. So, I'm just going to squeeze some out on the back of my hand. Um, to apply, I'm going to use this sponge here. It's not the Beauty, Beauty Blender, but I'm totally loving it. Anyways, I'm just going to pat that all over my face, make sure it's nice and blended. And I'm not going to go in under my eyes just yet because I'm going to do some color correcting uh, with a Becca Cosmetics product. For color correcting under my eyes, since I do have um, kind of bluish undertones under there, I'm going to use the Becca's Backlighting Targeted Color Corrector in Peach. And I am totally loving this product. Um, yeah, I'm totally loving it. It's so bright and pigmented. And I'm just going to grab a little bit with my finger. And I'm going to tap it just where I have that discoloration. And what this does, it just cancels out that discoloration that's under there. That way, whenever we apply concealer over it, it um, hides it better um, instead of actually just covering it up what we're trying to do with color correcting is it's canceling out that product so it's neutralizing and once I have that then I'm going to go in with max pro long wear concealer and that looks like this And I'm first going to apply it with just a flat foundation brush. Once I pack it down, I'm going to use my um, sponge again and blend that out. And then also something else I like to do is grab um, that concealer brush and just sharpen up the edge like that in case I messed anything up when I was blending it. So now I am going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation and this is several shades lighter than my skin tone. It's 5 and silky beige and I'm just going to um, grab a small brush and sweep that across my under eyes to prevent it from creasing. I'm gonna go in back with Porter and I'm just gonna apply this on my lash line, or bottom lash line. Just kinda add some color down there. And I'm using the same um, angled brush that I use for my outer corner. 
And then once I have that, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara just to add some definition to my bottom lashes. And I'm gonna apply like a um, light coat. So now that that's done, I'm gonna use the two main products that I use for contouring, which are the Max Pro Sculpting Cream and the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I love these two products together. And I'm not gonna show you guys um, just for the sake of sh uh, making this video shorter. So I'm gonna come back once everything is done. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with a Max Gold Deposit and just apply that very lightly on my cheeks. And I say that lightly because this is quite um, pigmented and bright. So a little will go a long way. Have that down. And then I just want a subtle highlight like I said in my Instagram post. So for my highlight I'm using Max Oh darling and I'm gonna um, grab a that same brush actually that I use for the blush and I'm gonna just dash that across the highest points of my cheeks just like so down the bridge of my nose keep it slow And that is pretty much it for the face. And this completes the look, guys. It's super easy, I promise. It looks complicated, especially the ice part, but it's totally not, as you guys saw. So I hope you liked it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests, comment down below. And also, don't forget to share um, with all your family and friends. And if you have any requests, comment down below. And if you try it out, um, tag me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter and Snapchat. I'll have all the information down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next time.